It all began in the 1950s, when researchers were studying a group of macaques on the Japanese island of Koshima. Scientists observed something fascinating. Some monkeys learned to wash sweet potatoes in the sea to clean and salt them, enhancing their taste. One of these monkeys, a young female named Emo, was the innovator, and soon other young monkeys started imitating her. According to the story, once a critical number, the so-called hundredth monkey, learned this skill suddenly and inexplicably, this knowledge spread across the water to monkeys on other islands and the mainland. This idea was first popularized by Lyle Watson in his 1979 book, Life Tide. Watson suggested that there was a kind of collective consciousness or shared mind that allowed knowledge to pass between separate groups instantly. Critics point out that Watson admitted he had to push the scientific facts to their limit because the observed phenomenon had not been scientifically recorded in full. This admission raises our first red flag about the veracity of the phenomenon as described. So, if not through mystical psychic waves, how could this behavior have spread? Well, researchers like Ronald Amundsen have debunked the myth by explaining more plausible scenarios. Moreover, the idea of a hundredth monkey effect implies a sudden change occurring right after a specific number of monkeys adopted the behavior. In reality, the spread of new behaviors in animal populations typically doesn't hinge on reaching a particular number. It's a gradual process involving learning, observation, and sometimes migration. Despite its shaky scientific foundation, the hundredth monkey phenomenon has been cited in various contexts, from New Age philosophy to discussions about human consciousness. It's a compelling story about how ideas spread and evolve, but it's more metaphor than mechanism. This phenomenon has been a useful allegory in illustrating the potential for rapid, widespread change once a critical number of individuals adopt a new idea or behavior making it a favorite in discussions about social change and cultural evolution.